creating more video content, I'm wondering, like, what do you think about that? Do you think there's going to be a balance of long form and short form? I mean, people are still obviously binging, you know, entire TV shows in a weekend or watching long movies. So there's clearly still something there. Where, where do you think that is? And where do you think the overlap is? Because that's another thing I think about a lot for like small creators who are trying to get big, who are not big, like necessarily like social media influencer big, but like wanting to make movies, wanting to direct, wanting to write, wanting to create bigger things, but they're doing it with TikToks. Like, do you see any overlap? What do you, like, what's your gut telling you about this? Because I know you keep your eye on this stuff pretty, really, really carefully. Here's the thing. As consumers, we are incredibly protective over our time. You're right. There was a time during the pandemic where we wanted to check out and mindlessly scroll. But now we're aware of how we use our time. We are hyper aware of where we're spending our time and effort. And we are going to be focused on things that bring us happiness and peace and education and things that we like. So as we're doing this, as we're going through this, we are going to be more aware of the content we're consuming, and we're going to be more picky about it. We are only going to give our time and our interest to things that really matter to us. So as more content is being created, as we have access to more things, our consumers will be more specific about what they're going to allow into their space. So with that in mind, we have to shift how we're creating content. What do our people actually want to see? What's actually going to help them? What's actually going to move that needle for them? So as we are doing this, we're going to see people, and we're still today seeing people heavily invest their time into both long and short form content. I have a YouTube channel. It's long form content, and I make bank on it because people are there to learn. But they do look at all the videos on YouTube. And they will say, this is what I'm trying to learn, or this is what I'm trying to consume right now. What is the best choice for me? They're then going to take a couple of factors into consideration. They're going to see if it's going to be something that looks higher end, it looks professional. They're going to see the time frame. So if there's a video that's a minute different, they're going to choose the shorter video as long as that person seems to be professional. They're going to look at how many views each video gets. If it's a lower number, they're going to rank it a little bit lower in their estimation. And if it's a higher number, they're going to think this person's more of an authority. So we're going to continue to see people heavily investing into both long and short form content, but they are going to want to get their answers in the shortest amount of time as possible, which means if we're looking further out and we're looking at the entertainment world, we're looking at movies, we're looking at TV shows, are we going to see an expansion of longer form movies? Probably not as much unless they have a very established platform. People like Marvel can get away with longer movies, but those one-off movies from brand new people probably can't be as long and get the same amount of attention. So people are going to be very judicial about how they're spending their time and how they're investing their space. And that is going to be the deciding factor in what type of content they are consuming, whether it is a TikTok or an Instagram or a longer form YouTube video or an outright movie in a movie theater. They're going to see what best suits their needs and decide from there based on all of those other factors. So it's really going to be consumer guided. Like the, the people will decide, people will mm -hmm. elevate the content based on what they're choosing to engage with. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the more time and effort you spend on your content to make it a higher level production, the more attention you're going to get. Because at this point, everybody has access to technology. People can make movies on their iPhones. People can write scripts without having to be a professional script writer. So we have access to a lot of different types of content, which means if we want eyes on what we're doing, we have to be studying the markets. We have to understand the industry. And then we have to create the best quality content we can and listen to our audiences so that we can pivot and change and level up from where, where we are now to go to where we need to be to get people's attention. Now, speaking of 